Hello everybody, welcome to more Political Excess. Today, let's take a look at another upcoming governor election, and this time let's do South Dakota. I realize it's not expected to be competitive. We'll get to the competitive states, but I want to take a look at some other less notable races just to see where things stand. Maybe you're curious about South Dakota, so let's get on Ballotpedia and get a little bit of background about this race. The current governor is Republican Christy Nome. She was first elected four years ago, 2018. She won by a little over 3%, and that margin is vastly reduced for what we'd expect from South Dakota. Prior to serving as governor, she did serve several terms in the U.S. House. Her Democratic opponent is Jamie Smith. Smith currently serves in the South Dakota House of Representatives and is the minority leader. So what about their primaries? Well, Jamie Smith actually didn't really have a primary. That primary was canceled, and he just advanced to become the Democratic nominee. For Christy Noem, she did have a primary, but it was mostly minor opposition. She won with 77% of the vote. And there's also a Libertarian candidate on the ballot, Tracy Quint, so she could suck away a few percentage points, probably more so from Christy Noem. So we can move along here and go down to see how this race is rated. And it's unanimous. Everyone says this is either safe or solid Republican. I would agree with that. I think it should be over a 10-point margin for Christy Nome. Yes, she won relatively narrowly last time. That was a blue wave. It was an open seat. She didn't run the greatest campaign, and the Democrats did. Since then, Noam has become a little bit more of a national figure to some extent. More people know who she is. I would guess she's pretty polarizing. If you're a Democrat, you despise her. If you're a Republican, you support a lot of what she's done. Democrats actually haven't won an election for governor in South Dakota since 1974, and that is the longest active streak for governor of any state, of any party in the country. So it is one of the redder states out there, and it would take a lot for a Democrat to become competitive. It's probable that Christy Noem could do about anything, and she would still win it, given her incumbency and given the red-leaning environment. So let's go down here and take a look at the county voting trends on a presidential level. And this shows us that 91.9% .9 of the population lives in 56 counties that are solid Republican. And that is defined on Ballotpedia as having voted for the Republican candidate for president in the last three elections. So they went Romney, Trump, and then stuck with Trump. On the other end, only 5.1% lives in five counties that voted for the Democrat in the last three presidential cycles. There's a few other counties that are trending toward the Republican on the presidential level, having voted red in the last two cycles. But we can go down here and take a look at some of these counties. And the thing to keep in mind is the shading is only if they voted for the Democrat or the Republican in the last one, two, or three presidential cycles. The shading has nothing to do with margins. But if you hover over any of these counties, you will get the margins for the last three cycles. And some of these counties are extremely red, over 90% voting for Donald Trump last time. In Harding County, the Democrats do have a few blue counties of their own. Most of those have large Native American populations. For example, Oglala Lakota County, that went for Biden by over 88%. The most populous county is Minnehaha County, that has Sioux Falls. Even that voted for Donald Trump last time by 9.5 points, about 53 to 44%. So in order to win as a Democrat, you would have to have a ton of crossover appeal. It would probably have to be a really good year for the Democrats, and you'd have to run a super moderate campaign, have a great personality, and the Republican nominee would have to be a complete train wreck. That's close to what it would take for a Democrat to actually win in South Dakota. So let's move on to YouTube and see what they've got on their channels. Here's Christy Nome's channel. She doesn't have a ton, but she's got an ad from not that long ago. She's got some other clips of her from Fox News, and some older ads and other content. If we go over to Jamie Smith's channel... He really doesn't have anything on here that's recent at all. I'm sure his funding is very low, but I would still think he'd want to have one ad out here for the general election campaign. We could also take a look at their official campaign websites. Here's Christy Gnomes. If you want to hear about her, check out her endorsements, see her appearances. And here is Jamie Smith's. If you want to read about where he stands on the issues, 
see his events, etc. And what about debates? Well, there actually already was a debate the other day. So you can take a look at it here if you'd like. I have not yet watched this debate. There is some summary down below if you don't have time to watch the entire debate. But let's move on to Wikipedia. And there's actually no polls on here, which is a real shame. I'd like to see some kind of data, even though Christy Noem is heavily favored. There's a couple of endorsements here, but there's really not much on here. I don't think many people are paying attention to this race. You can switch over to four years ago to see how that race turned out with the polling. And in that race, Christy Noem won with 51% of the vote, and Billy Sutton got 476 There wasn't a whole lot of polls back then. That was kind of an under-the-radar race that was closer than expected. But obviously, the change research poll here at the end was way off, and the Emerson College poll did show a close race at 48-47. That's fairly respectable, given the lack of polling and the final result. And there is no market for this race, I predict it. It's not a high-profile race. It's not even a medium-profile race. So people are not looking to spend money as of yet on this race in South Dakota. Maybe something somehow changes in the end. And Jamie Smith surges. I still think he would lose, even if he does surge. It's just too red of a state. It's too red of an environment. Christy Noem is the incumbent. It's hard to predict a margin with zero polling. I certainly think it'll be over 10 points. I'm going to guess just 15 off the top of my head. Maybe it's 12. Maybe it's 19. Maybe she has a huge blowout and it's well north of 20%. Anyone's guess is as good as mine on that one. Anyway, that is a look at this South Dakota governor's race. Let me know in the comments. What do you think the margin is going to be in this race? Is this race more competitive than the attention it's getting? Or is Christy Noem going to win in a landslide? Let me know down below. And if you enjoy this channel, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.